Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to get the brand new X-Tool S1 uh, 40 watt laser unboxed. So this comes in a box. It doesn't look like it comes with a whole lot, but the large majority of what it comes with is actually inside. So once you get it out of the packaging um, and remove that film, you'll find a whole bunch of boxes and um, actually very nicely packed uh, contents inside, including some power cords. Mine also came with an air assist as well as the honeycomb uh, tray. So th those come in some of the packages. So you're going to get this set up. You're going to first look for this little storage case and inside you need um, the screwdriver. So the screwdriver is going to be needed because inside, it's kind of hard to see here, so I'll give you a closer up, but on the left and the far back right, there are these two pieces um, that each contain two screws, so a total of four screws, and you're going to need to um, remove those. That is just there. It's called a rear limit piece. It's just there for shipping um, to keep everything um, tightly packed so that it's it's secure and you can see it actually is telling you right there on that yellow uh, sticker that you will not only need to remove those two screws but also the piece that's being held in by the two screws and then eventually you're also going to need uh, to remove the sticker as well so once you get it off the left side there's also um, another one of the same little rear limit pieces over on the right you'll use that same hex screwdriver that's included to remove that as well as the sticker. The next step is actually going to be to install the laser module, which does not come installed. So pull the entire um, uh, like laser module holder forward so that you can easily work. You'll see there's two pieces that are hanging off there. So you're gonna take your laser module and on the left side, there's two inputs. Uh, connect the cable and then the small tube. It's a little bit tricky. You wanna make sure that the cable is staying underneath the track. So once you do that, you are then going to locate on the back side of it, there's a little pin that will slide into the holder to keep it all in place. So the module is just going to slide on there. It is still gonna have some give so it goes up and down, but you'll also see that there are two screw holes on the top of the laser module. Those are going to need to be screwed in so that the laser module itself um, remains secured. So you're gonna grab two of the screws, again, from the little storage um, case, and that is what is going to be used. You'll again use the screwdriver uh, to screw that those uh, screws in and hold the laser module in place. All right, once you get those screws, you're gonna go to the other side of the laser module, and again, back in that storage kit, there is the height adjustment tool. So it looks like a little blade, actually. Um, you're gonna take that out, and that is actually going to kind of magnetize into this slot on the right side um, of the laser module. So there's two um, little protrusions kind of, and those are gonna line up with the two circles on the right side at top and the bottom of um, this, what looks like a sliding track. All right, once you get that all set up, go to the back of the machine. You're gonna use the screwdriver again to remove the filter cover. And once you get that, you will take the hose and use the same screws that it was attaching the filter cover, cover to attach the hose into the back of the machine. This can then be put into an air purifier or um, out the window. On the other side of the back of the machine, you're gonna have a bunch of inputs. So you can connect the power cord there, which is a two-piece power cord. And then you'll connect um, the uh, uh, you'll connect it then to the power, and the power button is also there. But don't plug in yet because what you're actually going to find is that your emergency stop might be uh, compressed, and so the power won't go on. So before you um, actually press the power button, you're going to want to make sure that further on the left hand side you pull out the. Uh, power button. The other thing that you need is this little key. There's two of them in that storage compartment. You're going to grab that and place it in the, looks like a little USB input there. There's that power stop that I was talking about. You're going to pull that out so that you can get power on your machine. And then there you go. Once your machine is turned on, there is no camera on this machine, but it does have those crosshairs as you can see, and that is what you are going to use to uh, line up your designs to the material. Now, 
If your machine came with an air assist, you can also install this. And so this air assist um, is not included with all packages. It does, um, you can buy it separately. It's different than the, S, than the M1 or the P2 um, in how it's installed. Um, so what you're gonna do is take the uh, tubing and you're going to put it into the back of the air assist and it'll kind of snap in there. And then the same thing goes for um, the other side of the tubing into the back of the M, uh, S1. So it, and you've got a little symbol there for what looks like a little, you know, like blowing air. So that, those just stay on either side there. Then you're gonna grab the cord, the, it looks like it has two almost like USB-C ends. One goes into the back of the air assist and the other is going to go into the back of the machine. Now, this provides power to the air assist and uh, so it's pulling its main power from the P, or excuse me, I keep saying the wrong thing, from the S1. And then you're just gonna use the little knob on the air assist to uh, control how much air assist you have. You can put it, um, you can manually adjust it if you want, or you can put it all the way to um, auto and just allow the air assist to basically control how much um, air it needs for the material that you're cutting. All right, so back on the front of the machine, you are now ready. If you got your honeycomb tray, you can go ahead and add that um, into the machine. Again, this doesn't come with every machine, but you can purchase this separately, or um, if you got one of the packages or bundles that comes with, an, with the honeycomb tray, it also comes with uh, three or four little magnet holders to hold your material in place, so those will each be in their own bag. Um, again, all, all of this was packed inside um, the box for the S1. All right, and then the last step is going to be to uh, connect to your computer. So you, there's a power cord that has, um, a U, it's a USB cord that's gonna go from the back of the machine into your computer. You will need to um, make sure that you have downloaded uh, creative Space, Xtools Creative Space, and if you have other machines like a P2 or an M1 as I do, you will need to install the newest version of Creative Space in order for it to recognize uh, an S1 as well. So you can just go ahead um, and go to the Xtool website to download the newest version of the software. Then once connected to your computer, it will probably prompt you for a firmware update. This just takes, I don't know, two, two to five minutes, I would say, to allow that firmware update to go. And then you will see your um, S1 in the Xtool Creative Space software as a machine that, that you can select. And that's it. That is all that is needed to do in order to set up um, the Xtool S1. So if you guys are ready, we can now get move forward with um, our first project. If you guys are looking for more tutorials on Xtool, whether that's the software or any of the machines, I have a whole bunch on my YouTube channel. I also have a lot on silhouetteschoolblog.com, including projects and things that you can make, all kinds of um, downloadable uh, charts and things for, for cut and engrave settings. Um, and if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your Xtool, I do offer that as well through SilhouetteU, so make sure you check that out. You can start a seven-day free trial, and that does include one-on-one -on -one chat with me along with exclusive videos, um, a monthly access to $15 basically every month so you can get fonts and designs that you can use with your Xtool along with other um, cutting machines or printers as well. It's all included with Silhouette U. All right, you guys, everything that I have uh, talked about, all of the bundles, all of the equipment, uh, the add-ons are all linked in the description below. See you soon.